Parker. You really thought? You thought you ate? Right now, sound. Sound, sound. Let me know, sound. Some work to do today we have a content day that we need to do for my store so yeah we got some new pieces in and i'm about to get some content y'all y'all know how to you guys i think i did a content day with you guys like two vlogs ago so y'all know how i do like literally just getting some tiktoks getting some pictures and pieces from my store that's what we're doing today um speaking of that video um when I posted that content day, one of the somebody said in the comments, like, girl, you need to talk about your business more. Your stuff is fire. I didn't know about it until this video. And you need to talk about your brand more. And I was like, oh my God, have we not been talking? Do maybe I don't talk about it enough. I thought that you guys were in the loop, but I feel like if she said it, then clearly I'm not talking about it enough. So that's something I want to change. I always just felt like I don't want to oversaturate you guys with my brand content. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's a, you guys have seen me pack orders a thousand times. Obviously, I feel like, you know, I have a brand and you've seen little things, but I also feel like I've never really like sat down and fully discussed the journey or anything really in detail about my business. I do have a video where I just, um, where I talk to you guys about like business resources and just like companies that I've used throughout my journey and just like things like that. But I feel like I've never like just really sat and had a full business chat just like about my journey in general how i started why i started you know the ins and outs of running a business i just feel like i've never done that and i feel like i really want to i would do it today but i'm not for two reasons one it's it's gonna take a minute it's gonna take us a good at least 20 minutes to even get through everything that i need to say as it pertains to that and like i said we're doing a content day today the content takes a long time to film and it takes a long time to edit so i really need to get started and then also i feel like you guys i want to start a category of sit downs on here like i feel like i only do vlogs at this point which i love i feel like vlogs are just more organic just going with the flow i think doing sit downs and like other type of content videos are just really intentional and i need to do better because why am i not being fully intentional in every single thing that i'm doing right i should stop playing it safe here on youtube and really branch out and do other videos so i'm gonna save it i'm gonna save the whole conversation for a sit down video i think i'm gonna film it maybe tomorrow within the next few days i'm gonna film that video it'll be a sit down style let's chat type of video and we will talk all things business my journey becoming an entrepreneur my journey starting a brand and everything of the sort so yeah i'm really excited about that that comment really like put a battery in my back to just go a little bit harder with talking about my brand in general because it is my number one passion here on this earth so yeah be on the lookout for that i think that's going to come after this video before another vlog but like i said we're going out for a content day today got some cute new pieces in can't wait to show you guys um 
we'll get dressed upstairs and I'll show y'all um, what we got going on. And then we'll probably end up going to lunch or something while we're out taking our pictures. And then I really want to trade this watch that I have. I feel like my jewelry collection has been like so focused on white gold, like silver jewelry, but I really want to delve into my all yellow gold collection. Um, at this point, as far as solid yellow gold, all I have are the necklaces that you see here um, and my yellow gold Cartier bracelet. And I have a small two-tone Rolex that I wear with my yellow gold stuff, but I kind of want to trade that watch for an all solid yellow gold watch. Because I just, I don't know, something about the yellow gold is doing it for me these days. It looks really good on my skin, especially in the spring and summer. It just, it's, it, yeah. So I think I want to trade that watch today. So we're going to go to the jeweler and see how we can go about trading in the two-tone for an all yellow gold. And then, yeah, we'll just see where the day takes us. The girls are chatting about possibly doing dinner tonight. So that will probably happen. But yeah, like I said, I need to get to work. Content takes a long time, so let's get started. This is the top on. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the logo this big or make it like a small center logo here. I don't know, but I just really like my logo. I think it's really cute. So why would you not keep it? You know what I mean? I tied my shirt up, as you can see. I just like it with a more cinched look, but obviously you can leave it alone and just have it like more boxy, if you will. This is the back with our cute zebra here. If you can see, I don't know how to see. Very, very flattering. I have mine tied up in the front, as you can see. I'm wearing the wide leg today, but, but you can also cinch them up. It comes with this little drawstring. If you wanted to leave this out, you could. If you wanted to tuck it. And then you have a completely different look it's summertime you might want a shorter look they're cute either way it really simple since you just literally take this off pull it down and you have a completely different pair of pants i know that's right super cute all right so i need y'all to help me pick a bag and a shoe what is this going on here What do we think? Green? I kind of like the green, I'm not gonna lie. Now we're gonna pick a shoe. We can either go the tennis shoe route or sandals. I'm not mad at that at all. I'm not mad at this. I'm really not. The tennis shoes obviously match better, but like, are we trying to match? Matchy matchy? I don't know. These are cute too, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, I'm stuck. Yeah. We'll just be safe and go with the tennis shoes. Mm-hmm. Cute. to change because me and the girls decided to go to sushi i would say today was a success we were able to switch as you guys saw i think this is just so much more like clean everyday kind of watch i love it a lot now this makes me want to like go crazy with my yellow gold collection because really all i have at this point is necklaces and i have my yellow gold cartier and i do have a yellow gold emerald bracelet that's my grandma's but yeah, but anyways, you guys saw, we just ran around and then I did stuff at Sephora. Let me show y'all what I got because I'm super excited. So I wanted to try the Super Goop sunscreen. I wanted to try this because obviously 
the girlies have been talking about it and like i'm just a sunscreen girl like i really learned my lesson in my adolescence just like not putting on sunscreen so now sunscreen is a non-negotiable in my routine my favorite favorite of all time right now is the tula skincare spf it's like a gel it's glowy it's bomb we're gonna try this one i just got it in the mini size because i want to try it i'm very particular of how i want my sunscreen it's spf 40 so that's pretty good so we're gonna see what that gives I saw this this morning on TikTok. I'll put the video right here that I saw because when I tell you that video truly did it for me. The way that it was just such a natural application, it looked like skin. So I really wanted to try this. I got the shade nine. Obviously I have makeup on, so we were only able to try it on my neck and it seemed to match pretty well, but we'll see. I'm super excited for this for just like my everyday, no makeup, makeup look. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. But I would say today was a success. Well, now I'm about to chill for a bit and then we're going out for sushi later. What's up you guys? I just got done getting ready. Me and the girls are getting ready to go to sushi. I'm so excited, I haven't had sushi in so long. Um, haven't had a girls date in so long you guys. Everybody has just been busy. Like I told you guys in my last vlog, May was hectic for me. May was really hectic for all of us. Maddie's anniversary was in May too, so she went on a trip. Amani's um, sister got married in Italy, so she was in Italy. Anna graduated and she had like two grad trips. Everybody has just been busy, so we are finally about to have a little girl's dinner. I don't know why my camera keeps going in and out. Y'all, I'm about to throw this camera away. I... I it's starting to really get on my nerves. I think I really just need to sit down one day and do like a good research on the best settings for this camera. Cause I know it's not the camera. I know it's not the camera, it's me. It's the settings that I have it on, I don't know. But um, yeah, so we're going to Salome. I think we've been there before. I think I've taken you guys there with me before, but we're going to Salome, Thai and Sushi y'all know us so who knows if that'll be the last stop y'all know us typically we end up at our place hobnob but <clears throat> we'll see i kind of have a lot of work to do and i really don't want to get that drunk because i have things i need to do tomorrow so i kind of don't want to go to hobnob but i kind of will because it's like you know first link up with the girls in a while we'll see i don't know but that's that i just made a little tiktok so hopefully that came out cute if so i'm gonna insert right here so you guys can see my outfit all right not the best angle not the best lighting but the tripod is upstairs and i don't feel like getting it so this is the tea cute little tea i forgot the brand name but i got it from asos i think it's just really cute y'all know i love me a good graphic tea so we have this on and then we have on some like calf length leggings and then I have on my little Chanel sneakers. Yeah, my bag is in the room and I haven't even zipped it up. But I'm just carrying my little white Balenciaga Le Cagole bag. Um, jewelry. Since the outfit is really casual, I went with my big Rolex, my butterfly bracelet, and my heart bracelet. You know, just to like, you know. What the, f what the hell is wrong with my camera? Y'all, y'all see how it's like blurry one second and then blurry. And I, it looks like I'm on portrait mode right now, which I've never put a portrait. Guys, tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow is the day. Something about the lighting in this house is really off too, y'all. Let me tell you. Y'all know we moved in this house in October. So it's like beginning of fall. The house is surrounded by trees. All right, there is not a house next to ours. It is fully surrounded by trees. So in the fall, winter, when the leaves have fallen off the trees, the sun is able to shine in here so bright and the lighting just always looks phenomenal. Like, am I blurry or not? Yeah. Anyways, the light is just able to shine in here so phenomenal. The lighting was always fabulous. I literally would just turn off every single light in the house and just let the natural light really just fall in. And that was just giving me the best lighting for, you know, vlogging and such. But now since um, it's spring, summer, and leaves have grown back on the trees. 
it's blocking the sun. So we just don't get the best light in here. Honestly, if I have all the lights off during the day, it is dim. It is dark. It is gloomy because the trees are fully blocking the light. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm probably overthinking it. It probably doesn't look that bad. But yeah, that's the outfit. Let me get in the car because at this point, I'm a little late. Um, see you guys at Sushi. Cute. Go crack on, bitch. <laughs> oh, bitch. The crack on is killing me. Rise and shine. Good morning to my girls. They're out on their morning walk, if you will. We just let them out in our backyard. And they do what they have to do. Good morning, you guys. Um, I'm up super early. Came to get new trays once again. I'm starting tray nine today, but we got trays nine through twelve. Um, I'm excited. We're we're finally getting somewhere with this Invisalign thing. Um, after I finish twelve, I'll be like halfway through. I have 25 trays in all, so you know we getting somewhere. The teeth are definitely moving. I'll say that the teeth are moving they are shifting so yeah i got here about 20 minutes ago we kind of have a lot to do today but i really want to find me somewhere to eat i am hungry i didn't eat before i left the house and for some reason i'm like really craving a salad i don't know what that's about i think chopped is somewhere in this plaza so i think i'm gonna find that give me something to eat i also have my ipad with me because i need to do some work i need to work on my spreadsheets so i think i'm gonna sit down somewhere Get some spreadsheets moving. Have me a little early brunch, if you will, because it's pretty early. And then I need to really run in this Target. I need to run into Publix, get a few things for the house. And then I'm going to go home, drop those things off, and I'm going to pick my boyfriend up. Me and my boyfriend have some errands that we need to run together. Um, my boyfriend is thinking of starting a clothing brand. So there is a marketplace here in Atlanta where they just sell a bunch of like blanks. So you can kind of like play around with printing and, and different things like that. So we're going to go there so he can kind of like get a feel for some fabrics and some merchandise for his store. And then y'all, I'm not going to lie, I knew this was going to happen. Now that I got this watch, I need more. I need more yellow gold. I'm not going to lie to you. So I think we're going to end up going to the jeweler as well because I want to get another bracelet to go over here with my little single Cartier bracelet. Y'all know I have the white gold Cartier bracelet as well, but I don't like to wear them together. I told you guys a few vlogs ago about the sizing. They're two different sizes, so I don't like wearing them together. Um, I want to find another yellow gold bracelet to wear over here. You know, maybe some rings. Something. Something cute in yellow gold to go along with my collection at this point. So, oh, and then tonight, you guys, Bryson Tiller is here in Atlanta. Um, his show, I think he did a show last night. He has the last one tonight. I think we're going to go to that. My boyfriend is friends with Bryson's manager. They've been chatting, so I think they're working on getting us some tickets, some backstage passes, something like that. So that'll be super fun. You know, I'm not really like too much of a concert girly. If it's free, if we got tickets, cool. We can have a blast. But I'm not really one to like buy tickets to a concert and actually go. Like, it has to be my favorites, my absolute favorites if I'm going to buy a ticket to go to a concert. But yeah i think it'll be fun if we can go i think amani's gonna come with us um so yeah that'll be a fun little night out tonight so yeah let me get my food let me get this work done so that we can get this day rolling 
and I'll chat with you guys in a few. OG Park. Hey you guys, I just got done getting ready. We are getting ready to go to the Bryson Tiller concert. Me, my boyfriend, Amani, and Stefan. So I just got done getting ready. We're waiting on Amani, of course. Well, not really, because my boyfriend ain't even dressed yet. Um, but yeah, we getting ready to go. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit when I step out into the living room because you'll just never get the best angle in here. I feel like this room this bathroom and this lighting makes me look so pale or maybe i just am pale Guys, I have to help Amani move today and I have a lash appointment at 12 o'clock. So I got up super early because I need a fill in. My nails look insane. So I said, hey, if I get to the nail salon at 10 o'clock, I can make it to my lash appointment by 12 and then boom, we're off to help Amani move. Why did I just get out here super early, rushing out of my house? Why did I just lock myself out of my car? I have a full locksmith on the way to my house right now when I'm in a rush and my nails, guys, I ripped my nails off last night. I look insane. Y'all, that was so annoying so annoying i literally just put all my stuff in my car dropped the keys right here in my passenger seat walked around to the driver's door my car was freaking locked that just blew me i am rushing i'm gonna try and make it to the nail salon i have like an hour and 20 minutes let's see All right, y'all. I'm very proud of myself. We made it to the nail salon. Made it to my last appointment. I was only three minutes late. I know that's right because, babe, I had to get my nails done. I'm gonna put a before picture of what my nails looked like this morning. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I was so impatient last night. My nails were raggedy, so I knew I wanted a full set anyway. Thank God I took the time last night to like take the nails off because that would have took up extra time today, and I literally did not have it. I did not have the time, but thank God we made it to the nail salon. We made it to the lash appointment. So now, um, like I said, I was rushing this morning, so I didn't eat anything at all. So I had to stop at Dunkin'. I got me 
this is my order and i got and then i just got a bacon egg and cheese on a croissant this is gonna be a cheat day babe because we can't do starbucks and yeah this is what we have so i'm here i'm about to eat my little sandwich and then we're gonna go in and help money move i should have got a water bottle though because you know how you eating some you want to wash it down but you don't want to wash it down with the coffee i should have got a water bottle <laughs> guys i just want you to see <laughs> i just want you to see she's like oh i'm packing i'm packing all my things up everything's packed and ready to go where uh so do you have like boxes first of all when your bed gets so high i just <laughs> gotta unmount the tv but that just takes two seconds and then all right okay we're starting fresh this is the before. Fresh, clean. I'm on closet duty, you guys. This is the before. Because we're going to get it together. OG Park. the final product dresses it's still a little crowded but I mean she just she just has too many things I don't know what to say pants tops I got all her bags up here she insisted on keeping a space suit I don't know why but that's up there and she did that y'all she did that <laughs> We had to go hoodies and coats and bins because as y'all can see, like, she just has too many things. So, this is the end result. Period. I had to get rid of half of her things because she wanted to hold on to gaucho flares. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. We're up, we're ready. Today is a really special day. It is my nephew's first birthday party. So we're about to get ready to go. I need to pack these gifts. If you can see, the lighting is not that good, but I have all these gifts to pack up. But yeah, y'all, my, um, my nephew's birthday was actually yesterday. They're just having this party today because it's Saturday. It's just a better day to have a party. But his birthday was yesterday. My godson's birthday was the day before, so um they are coming to the party as well so i gotta pack his gifts as well oh these shorts are like basketball short material i thought they were like cotton i got him these on amazon three pack of t-shirts to go with those i don't know if this is a better angle or what y'all whatever um but yeah, so I gotta tell y'all the craziest story. And I'm just, my nerves are really bad this morning because of this. Um, so yesterday I left the house around three o'clock cause I just needed to run some errands. Um, I had to go to Target, I had to go to Publix, I had to go to the post office, like I just had things to do. Left the house, I was gone from like three to 5.30. And I get back and there's like this ringing in my garage like it's coming from the wall 
it's like a ringing coming from the wall in the garage. It's scary because the wall that it's coming from um, is the same wall where our uh, electric panel box is. So I'm like, what is this? Like, it's a super loud ringing noise. I'm not sure what it is. I get on Google. Of course, Google is telling me that your house is about to catch on fire. God forbid, God forbid, God forbid. Um, so I'm like, what the heck? Obviously, my boyfriend's out of town. So I just feel like the craziest things happen when my boyfriend's out of town. So I'm like calling my dad and calling my boyfriend's dad. They don't really even know what to tell me because they've never seen anything like it. So, um... Basically, I was just like on go last night. Like I was fully prepared if I needed to leave the house. Part of me was just thinking, I hope that this stops before I wake up because I know that I have to leave the house tomorrow. And like, I just, I don't want to worry about it. Y'all, the noise is still going on. I talked to my dad this morning and he said, honestly, if it hasn't like caught on fire by now, it's probably not an electrical thing like we think. But then again, he's just like, I really don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. So it's just, I am really scared. I have my dogs with me. I did plan on bringing them to this party, but I just don't feel comfortable leaving them here because y'all just, y'all have no idea how ruined I would be if something happened to them. If, if something happened to the house in general, but. So. That is the situation for today. Um, hey, buddy. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday, dear Carter. Happy birthday to you. What are you doing? Yeah, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. party I'm super tired I'm about to start this show my mom just told me to start my father-in-law was able to come to the house today and evaluate the problem I was telling you guys about earlier but I don't know if you can hear or not I'm gonna be silent so y'all can hear what I'm talking about but I really hope y'all can hear that it's just it, it's it's still going he determined that it's not like a electrical issue. He thinks it's a plumbing issue. Apparently there's like a valve in the wall where it shouldn't be and he thinks that there's pressure on the valve. So I do at this point feel like we're at risk for like a pipe burst, water leak of some sort. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But um, my boyfriend lands tomorrow, which is crazy because tomorrow's Father's Day. And we don't really have time to address this issue tomorrow because my boyfriend lands at 2 o'clock. We're doing Father's Day at 3.30. So it's giving Monday morning. We're going to have a plumber, an electrician, and anybody else who could possibly evaluate the situation with expertise. Um, we're going to have them come out and check it out because, I mean, if you can hear this, like, I cannot go on like this. So, yeah, that's that. I'm going to watch the show. 
and I will chat with you guys in the morning. All right, you guys, it's not really morning. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. It's Father's Day. I am so tired this morning, you guys. Like, I am so tired. Um, last night when I told y'all I was gonna watch that show, fell asleep within 20 minutes. We might try to run that back tonight, but y'all, it has been such a lazy Sunday morning. I slept on and off until like 12 o'clock. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was just so tired. I think we were just out in that sun yesterday and it really just wore me out. My boyfriend missed his flight, of course. I am just irritated with him because he was supposed to be home yesterday. I really wanted him to be at Carter's birthday party, but the fight was last night. He went to the Gervonta and whoever, the, Franklin, whoever the guy fought Gervonta last night. My boyfriend went to that flight. That's why he was out of town. He was supposed to get on a flight at seven this morning. Of course he missed it. So he's not here. He can't get on another flight until five o'clock Vegas time. It's not even five o'clock here. So yeah, he is missing Father's Day, which is very unfortunate and annoying because get your ass up and get on your flight. Anyways, so I'm just doing Father's Day with my dad, my stepmom, my brother, which is his first Father's Day, and my sister-in-law, we're going bowling. Nothing crazy, I am so tired, y'all. <laughs> I am so tired. I love my daddy to death, but I really, I'm so tired and I wish I could stay in the bed today. But it's Father's Day, we're gonna go out, we're gonna make the best of it. We're just gonna bowl, nothing crazy, and then we gonna come home because I am very tired. I'm just wearing comfortable little, comfortable little outfit. This bait t-shirt, these cosmic sweats. I don't think you can see them really well. Um, they are, one of my boyfriend's friends has a brand and these are some sweatpants that they gave us. <clears throat> They're really comfortable. I like nylon material. I love the fit, just really comfortable. And then I'm wearing these Chanel sneakers. These are very old. These are the first pair of Chanel sneakers I ever had. Blue Goyard, obviously this blue doesn't match, but who cares? Yeah, this is my cozy little fit. So yeah, let me go. <laughs> Let me know some, can I know some, can I hold some, can I roll some, and let's go.